In a previous video, we defined what a homotopy of paths in a space was. In this video, we're going to show some examples of what homotopies look like um, and give you a feel for what might be important when dealing with them. Okay, so the first type of homotopy we want to show between two paths is a linear homotopy. So we have some space um, x, we'll say it's a subspace of Rn, or that x is some say convex space, uh, and so we have two paths f and g into x such that um, f is homotopic to g. All right, we want to write down what a homotopy between these might look like, and you might have something that goes from ds. Uh, and we'll set that equal to 1 minus t of fs plus t times g of s. Okay, so what does this do? At time 0, this bit is 0, and this bit is um, f of s. And at time 1, this bit is zero, so this bit is zero, and this is g of s. So it's a homotopy between these, uh, provided this makes sense for all t and for all s. All right, so say that we have, um, so what do we need for this to make sense? Well, first we need to be able to add things, so that's kind of why I put it in Rn, because, or say some convex, space because then you have some notion of being able to um, add elements in the space. Okay, um, so say we have two paths this is F and this is G um, they have the same start and end points so this is F of 0 equals G of 0 f of 1 equals g of 1. All right, so we can ask for a homotopy here. Um, and if this isn't, say, Rn, then this homotopy here is the thing that sends each element at each point in the path down to the corresponding point in g, uh, in the other path. So, say, this point here is f of a third, it sends to g of a third, um, and it sends it at a constant speed. Whatever the distance between these two points is, it just traverses that distance in time one. Okay, however, if our x is say an annulus, so say this is that, um, and around here, and our space is everything between these two green circles, so Now the problem here is that this point is not in our x. So uh, say for instance we have then we have h of half half is going to be 1 minus a half times f of a half plus a half times g of a half. Okay, well, we'll let this be the interval and we'll let f of a half be 0, 1 and g of a half be 0, negative 1. Then we have a half of 0, 1 plus a half of 0, negative 1. And that's going to be 0, 0, the origin. Um, Uh, however, that's not in our space x, and so h is not a map from the integral across the interval into x. Um, 
where x is this annulus. All right. Uh, now, um, I want to give, say, a couple of other examples that aren't linear. Um, so we might take g of t s uh, equals 1 minus t squared f of s plus t squared g of s. Um, so if we have the same f and, f and g, uh, if this homotopy makes sense, then this one should also make sense. Um, however, it's a different homotopy of paths between two homotopic paths. Uh, similarly, we might have, say, f of ts, and that's, well, we'll just make that f of s on the interval from 0 to a third. We'll make it k of 3t minus 1 of s for t in 0, ah, uh, sorry, a third to two thirds. Um, where k is any homotopy we already had between f and g, and then it's g of s uh, from t from two-thirds to one. Um, and basically what we're doing here is we're taking this, this square that we were mapping out from, this i cross i into our space, um, where this is, our, this is our t and this is our s, and we're going to say that on the first third of that we just do um, f, on the last third of that we just do g, and in between we do this homotopy that we already had, but we do it at three times speed. Um, so the point really is that um, homotopies are not necessarily unique. In fact, in general, homotopies between paths that are homotopic are not unique. All right. An important example of homotopies of paths is reparametrization. So if we take a map from the interval to itself, we can think of pre-composing a path from the interval into our space by this as reparametrizing that path. Uh, and so what we, we want is for the reparametrization of any path to be homotopic to that path. So that is, we want f precomposed with phi to be homotopic to f. And we do that as follows. So first, we, what we do is we build a homotopy from phi and show that that's homotopic to the identity on the interval. Uh, and so we do that by h of ts is equal to, and now we do a linear, a linear homotopy from phi of s to s. So at the, at the start, when this is equal to zero, we have the map from the interval to itself, to itself phi, and then at time one, we just have the identity. So we have this homotopy between this map from this, well, this path in the interval to this path in the interval. Uh, so this is really from i cross i into i. And we build a homotopy here, g from i cross i into x just by post-composing this with f. So then this is going to take ts and it's going to send it to uh, f applied to h of ts. And so you'll see that at time zero, this is going to be, well, 
h of ts is just 5s, so this is going to be f applied to 5s. And then at time 1, well, this is just s, so this is just going to be f applied to s. So that's how we get our homotopy um, by the reparameterization.